Hey guys, welcome to Sylvia Box. I'm Sylvia Uchi. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so by hitting the red subscribe button below and let's get into this video. So if you've clicked on this video, you're probably here because you want to know more about how to use your Febreze wax melting or warming device. That's what it looks like when it's in the pack. I already have mine which is unboxed and it looks like that. It has a 1.5 meter long cord you guys which is super for moving around the house with it and you know like positioning it in the right place in the house and that's what it generally looks like. That's the cord. The cord comes with a switch and the switch looks like that. It has like this thing you turn. And when you turn that, then you turn on the switch. Then it comes with this part here, which lights up. And this thing comes off. And that's what I like about it because it you can easily clean it. You can easily, um, you know, take it from place to place, cleaning it. And that's what it looks like, basically, inside. So before I go into how it works, I want to mention that in this video, we will also be sampling the next batch of uh, wax cubes that have come in in Uchi Vault and we will be smelling them and I'll be telling you what they smell like. These ones are more summery, gourmand and uh, very sweet, summery, fresh, some are fresh, some are linenish, and um, I'm sure you guys will like them. Uchi Vault is an online shop on Instagram where you send a message on Instagram about a product you have seen and they deliver the product to your doorstep. But Uchi Vault have a promotion where when you buy one walk wax warming device, you get a free pack of uh, Febreze um, wax cubes which smells amazing you guys this thing is absolutely the bomb um, this scent is called gain and the fragrance is basically very linen-y very um, fresh clean and what i like about febreze wax cubes and wax melts is that it eliminates odor meaning um, it actually soaks in the the smell that is in the room or in the atmosphere and infuses the its own smell into the room. And let's say you have a bad smell you want to get rid of, then that uh, cube you're melting soaks up the bad smell and releases a beautiful fragrance. And that's So let's go and plug this in and then I'll show you guys how it's used, how you clean it, how you maintain it, and how you set up everything. All right, you guys, so we've moved and I have my device here with me. It's plugged in to the socket and that's the switch. So I'm just going to be taking you guys through how to use this and please follow through because this device is made in the USA. And as you know, in the USA, they use 120 uh, volts. And in Kenya, we use 220 volts. So first you have to convert the voltage from 120 volts to 220 volts. I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, so to convert the voltage of this device, you need something that looks like this. Okay, so this is a converter and uh, you can get one locally for about 2000 shillings. That's the black one. This is just a power surge protector. Then the black one is the converter. So this helps you get um, from 120V to 220V. That's the volts. And uh, the reason why you have to do, it, do this before you connect is because if you use, um, the, if you plug it into the Kenyan socket, uh, because in Kenya our power is 220 volts, you can blow up the device. So that's the plate that sits on top. We've already connected and uh, converted the voltage. The switch of the device is here. This thing you see, it has an on off button, an off on off um, rotating thingy, the <laughs> wheel. That's the wheel, you see? So you turn that and that's how you turn it on. All right guys, so once you're plugged in, you've converted your voltage and everything is set and you have your wax cubes, you can do two cubes maximum, but just make sure you're not doing too many because when you do too many, then you're going to um, have the wax level overflowing. And if it overflows, then it goes into the device and that's not good. You just take the cube, put it in there like that. 
put the cube in the wax warmer then you take the switch and you turn the switch it has a sign here saying on off so when you switch it on the light turns on so you guys have seen this light down here it just turned on the device is on and it's, it'll start melting so you have to give it a, uh, a bit of time um, let's say in an hour the entire cube will have melted completely and it'll be liquid form from solid to liquid and because it's eight watts it's really not too hot that you cannot touch you can touch but don't touch <laughs> don't go saying i said you can touch don't touch but when you i did touch it and it's not too uh, it's not hot it's manageable but let's let this melt then um, i'll show you guys additionally how to clean and maintain the bowl and how to um, reuse the wax if you want to reuse it or how to throw out the wax that you've already used if you want to get rid of it so guys why i like this uh, warmer is because it really goes well with my interiors like i don't have to worry about the color and everything it really matches and complements the home as it is a very modern uh style and the light over there i don't know why it looks like it's pulsating the light does not pulsate guys i think that's just my camera um but it is modern it is very beautiful and sleek in the design many wax warmers in the market are very traditional or have like a farmhouse vibe and I wanted something very modern and this is what I got from Uchivolt and I absolutely love it. So the wax has begun to melt and I'll show you guys the entire process and what it looks like and how to clean it, how to get rid of the wax after. So as we enjoy that and the beautiful fragrance is already wafting by me, I wish you guys were here. Let's talk about the other fragrances that are uh, from Uchivolt shop. Um, they do have other summer based wax cubes and um, they do smell amazing. So I'll just be taking you guys through them. There are so many, there are actually more than the ones that we had, the bakery based ones. Remember we had, in my previous uh, video, we spoke about bakery based uh, Christmas like warm um, vanilla gourmand scents. These ones now are going to be more um, summery still gourmand others are more fresh linen others are more perfumey and i'll take you guys through them we do have some from mainstays some from uh better homes and gardens some from scent sessionals and of course the febreze one so the first one i have is from scent sessionals and it's called girlfriend night now girlfriend night is very uh leaning towards the perfumey side that's girlfriend night girlfriend's wait girlfriend night so that's girlfriend night they say the scent is uh, has notes of bubbly berry bliss and it has a cityscape picture on the pack which gives you the vibe of going out with your girl with your girlfriends to have a good night out and on smelling it on cold sniff it's beautiful guys like if you're girly and into girly perfumey scents, you like this. It's very, very girly. And um, that's by Scent Sessionals. And that's coming in at 70.9 grams. Um, that's very nice. I like it. As we go along, I'll be telling you which ones I think might be my favorites and which ones might uh, be, yeah, for me. So this could be a favorite. I haven't uh, melted this yet, but I think it could be my favorite. Um, this is now from Better Homes and Gardens. This is Warm Spring Sunshine, and it has notes of white peach, daisy, granny smith apple, rainwater, melon, garden florals, and amber scent notes. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know if this <laughs> helps, but yeah. So let's smell that. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. On cold sniff, I get the peach immediately. I got the peach and the melon. Um, that's really true to its description, guys. That's really true to the true to its description. You get the white peach. You get the melon you get the apple you get the they say the daisy 
Okay, I'm not sure what a daisy smells like, but it does have a floral undertone to it, aside from the fruity melon side of it. So that's warm spring sunshine. This has not yet been uh, uh, posted onto Uchi Vault, however it will, and this will be one of the uh, wax cubes we have. It might be one of my favorites, might. I like it, but I'm not sure if I love it, but I like it, it's really good. Let's move on. Um, next we have Papaya Passion. Papaya Passion. <laughs> this one now is by Mainstays. Remember I said there's Sensationals, Mainstays and Better Homes and Gardens and Febreze. This one is by Mainstays. It's coming in at 35.4 grams. Papaya Passion Wax Cubes is uh, exactly that Papaya Passion. Let's open that. Mm. It's very passionate. <laughs> it's a passionate scent. So I can smell the, I can really smell the, the passion. I can really smell the, I'm not sure I get papaya, but I get passion. The passion is really in there. It's really passiony or passionate or yeah, it's, this is definitely summery. And I think it might be my, on, on top of my list. So that's Papaya Passion. Next is one of my favorites. Now this one is more linen-y. Um, you know, like when you go into a hotel room and they have fresh white, she fresh white sheets and it smells amazing and the, it's just crisp white sheets on a summery day. This is it. So this is soft cashmere amber. So this is a linen, clean, fresh scent. And it has notes. This is by Better Homes and Gardens. It has notes of bergamot, um, amber, citrus, sandalwood, patchouli, peppercorn, cassis, and moss. And moss. Uh, that's 70.9 grams. Uh, guys, me, I like this one. It's very, it's a clean, laundry, uh, summery, linen scent. Like, if you like such, it's not uh, too sweet. It's, it's just in the middle. It's like clean, fresh linen cashmere very nice i love it okay next we have cranberry mandarin cranberry mandarin is by mainstays coming in at 34.5 grams that's cranberry mandarin let's smell that mm, interesting you get the mandarin cranberry i'm not sure but you get the mandarin it does have the berry vibes in the background. Now, I don't know if it's cranberry, but for me, I get the, the mandarin orangey vibe. So that's really true to its scent, to its description. And I think this is also one of my summer, will go on my summer favorites because it's really citrusy. If you're into citrusy fragrances, cranberry mandarin is definitely for you. That's by Mainstays. Next is by Better Homes and Gardens at 70.9 grams. We have Lavender Lemonade. That's Lavender Lemonade. Let's smell that. Okay, so it has notes of lemon, sugar, pineapple water, lavender, melon, and vanilla. Oh, it's soft. Okay, I'm not a lavender person. I'm not into the fragrance, the lavender-based fragrances but um this one is very this might change my mind because it's quite sweet but fresh floral but berry like but mild it's not like punchy and strong that's really nice lavender lemonade i i do feel the pineapple water I, I, you can smell the pineapple water, you can smell the lemon, I'm not so sure. Okay, there's a citrusy uh, fragrance at the, in the background. I'm not sure if it's lemon, but you get the citrusy side of it. You get the melon, you get the lavender, you get the pineapple water for sure. And the sugary side of it. That's also beautiful. This will also be on Uchi Vault. Next is Summer Fruit Melody. Summer Fruit Melody has uh, notes of white currant, clementine, sugared mandarin, pomelo zest, cranberry, and tamari scent notes. So um, 
white currant. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I've never smelled a white currant, but I know uh, mandarin, sugared mandarin, pomelo zest, cranberry, tamarind, clementine. So, mm, oh my gosh, that's going to be one of my favorites. So summer fruit melody, that's good for me. I like it very citrusy i think this would be nice for as a kitchen uh kitchen scent so i will definitely be warming and melting this in my kitchen that's really clean and um i don't know clean crisp citrusy makes you want to be in a clean sanitary kitchen i don't know it's giving me kitchen vibes that's nice too next is caribbean sea breeze it has notes of sea breeze pineapple honeydew coconut water sea salt orchid muguet <laughs> i don't know what muguet is mugay let's say mugay let's give it a nice twist mugay moss and white woods so let me say that again sea breeze pineapple honeydew coconut water uh, sea salt, orchid, mugay, muguet, <laughs> moss, and white woods. That's again by Better Homes and Gardens, coming in at 70.9 grams. Hmm, very coconutty. I feel the coconut, guys. Like that's really true to its description. Also, I'm never. I've never. I know I'm from the coast and everything, but I've never been a coconut fragrance lover but um even in food i know people like to put coconut and everything coconutty in rice and in, in cooked food i don't like coconut but in desserts i like coconut i know it's weird but when it comes to like the main course like meaty dishes stews and all i don't like coconut but when it comes to sweets like desserts and all i like coconut so yeah this is nice but not for me but it's nice you do get the pineapple you do get the sea breeze you do get the coconut water sea salt let me see yeah a bit of a sea salt a bit it's like an undernote undertone undernote um you get the orchid you get the i don't know what muguet is uh moss and white woods it is a bit woodsy but more towards the floral fresh coconut tea so let me just give you one word for this because i've said so much if you just take one thing away floral fresh coconut pineapple and the sea so <laughs> just think of yourself in like jamaica or something enjoying this and with a actually it smells like a piña piña colada it smells like a piña colada yeah it smells like a piña colada to put it simply, it smells like a piña colada. That's how I can describe this. Then we have Over the Rainbow. Ooh. That's Over the Rainbow. So this has pineapple, passion fruit, cassis, apple, pear, raspberry, white wood, and amber. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's like opening a bag of skittles <laughs> you guys know skittles i love skittles uh skittles is the candy you know the sweet candy it's like opening a bag of skittles it smells very sweet and it, it's a very sweet fragrance very summery sweet and it's giving me summer swimming pool vibes so it is true to its uh description pineapple you get the pineapple you get the passion fruit i'm not sure what cassis is you get the apple you get the pear you get the raspberry it is a bit a bit woodsy so you get the white wood and amber it's true to its description that's by better homes and gardens I think this will also be my favorite and it is fresh. I like, by the way, when it comes to fragrances and scents, I like fresh and I also like um, gourmand, but not gourmand towards the musky. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, we have Meyer or Mayer lemon basil. That sounds a bit kitcheny to me. That sounds like a kitchen scent let's see what it so the notes are meyer lemon is it meyer or meyer meyer lemon uh lime bergamot basil orange and white pomelo uh, okay guys that's all lemon 
like for me that's a very lime i just got lime lemon citrus and that's why it's yellow because it's lime lemon i would not use this in the bathroom i'd use this in the kitchen this is very kitcheny to me that's very kitcheny so that's very lime lemon it's true to its uh description also i do get a lot of the lemon also a fresh summery uh, fragrance, not sweet, leaning towards the fresh side. Those are all the other wax cubes that we will be bringing in on Uchi Vault. Uh, we haven't posted them yet, but the ones that are already posted are bakery-based uh, sweet gourmand vanilla scents. So check them out. And by the way, the vanilla cookie crunch and the vanilla spice vanilla cookie crunch and vanilla caramel spice are sold out so don't write to uchi vault about those because they are gone like they sold out so fast you guys clearly love vanilla based scents um another one that is also sold out i think is the watermelon buttercream that's also sold out so you guys are clearly loving these let's go now check on the febreze melted wax and see how far it's gone and then i'll show you guys how to clean it up and how to do your maintenance so guys as you can see it has started melting the house smells nice guys i wish you were here this thing smells amazing it's like linen fabricy smells really nice i absolutely love this fragrance from febreze it's been about an hour less than an hour it's been a bit about less than an hour and that's how far we've gone so let that melt up and it's completely melted as you can see um i you can continue melting it um if you want to continue having it on and melting but um now i will switch it off then we will wait for the wax to harden then i'll show you how to scoop it out okay guys so i've written down all the questions that you sent me about the wax um cubes and the wax warmer and uh, i want to answer some of them so the first thing is um can you reuse the wax so yes you can reuse the wax but first you have to switch off the device wait for the wax to uh, cool down so as the wax cools it hardens and then you can scoop it out with your fingers or with a wooden or plastic spoon um, but as you're scooping it make sure before you scoop it out that it's slightly uh, warm because when you scoop it out when it's completely cold and hard then it's going to be such a task when you scoop it out when it's slightly warm it tends it tends to come out uh, as one solid piece or if you don't want to reuse the wax, you can simply take cotton balls and uh, dip them into the warmer and then it will soak up the, the, the melted liquid wax. Then you can throw away the cotton balls, but because I don't like to be wasteful, I simply take the cotton balls and put them like in a, a dish or somewhere in a corner of the room so that the smell still uh, diffuses into the room so that I don't waste the wax. So the other thing is clean up. So when you want to clean, after you have soaked up the melted wax in a cotton ball, take a clean damp cloth. It can be warm because I find that when it's warm, it helps the wax to easily come off or make sure that the bowl is still warm. And then come in with a damp cloth, wipe it off and all the residual wax will come off then if you want to wash the entire bowl you can also do so but make sure you use a non-abrasive dish washing liquid and dish washing scrubbing pad or sponge and then the other question is can you mix the the fragrances the cubes and the fragrances yes you can some people do i personally don't like to mix because i like to get the fragrance that i have uh the the fragrance that i've put in the bowl as it is um however you can mix and actually febreze on their website i think they speak about it and they say that if you want to mix with theirs then it's a good idea because you can create your own signature scent that nobody has so you can buy like febreze wax cubes mix it up in the bowl and you get a beautiful custom <laughs> Uh, fragrance in your home the other question was if you can use the febreze wax melting device with other brands of wax cubes well on their website they say that the wax warmer device is only for febreze uh, wax cubes however 
I use my other wax cube brands with the Febreze wax warmer. That's me. Follow the instructions. They know why they say that. So, and then the other question um, was, can you use the Febreze wax cubes on other devices? Um, yes, on their website, they do say that you can use the Febreze wax cubes on other um, wax warming devices. So it's kind of like the opposite. So for the device, stick to Febreze wax cubes. But for the wax cubes from Febreze, you can use other wax warmers. But if you haven't noticed, I like to break rules. So I actually mix all of them up. I use... Uh, wax cubes from other places on the Febreze wax warmer. Oh yeah, how long does does it last? So the throw is, first of all, the throw of the Febreze wax cubes is quite strong. Um, so is the ones I just shared. The wax melts in about two hours. It co melts completely and turns into complete liquid in about two hours. So it doesn't need, you don't have to like wait two hours to get the smell. The fragrance starts to diffuse immediately before um, it's even completely melted. But um, then someone asked, how long can you use the, use the melted liquid wax? So the melted liquid wax, you can keep it running because it doesn't, uh, the device is not very hot, you know, like hot, hot, hot. So you can keep it running, you can keep it uh, powered through. But um, I think up to maybe four hours is okay, but I think you can keep it running. And then, yeah, how many cubes? Someone asked how many cubes you should use per session. So you can use as many cubes at, okay. You shouldn't use as many cubes as you want because of course it will overflow. Um, it's physics. So just use like one to two and make sure they're sitting properly in the device. Then as they melt, if you feel like you have too many, just be near, but I don't think you should use it also. You should put in too many because the bowl is, the bowl is suitable for one to two and the throw is generally very strong. So you don't need more than two at once per session. Unless so you that's all about the wax cubes and the wax warming device. Um, if you want to get one, check out Uchi Vault. It's an Instagram online shop. Uh, send them a message and they will deliver to your doorstep. If you want the cubes, likewise, check them out on Uchi Vault shop. They will do the same. Um, we do have more coming in. We will be having more fragrances coming in. The summer ones are already in. By the way, in Kenya, the weather right now is so funny. Like it's spring, it's winter, it's everything. It's a rainy season. Like the weather is very confused. And that's why I like to have a mix of the wax uh, cubes and fragrances because as the weather is confused, then I can pick out and say, okay, today it's springy. So let me take the spring uh, scented ones. Today it's wintery. So let me take this winter. Yeah. So it's really nice to have different fragrances and cubes to melt and warm from time to time as the season changes and as your need changes. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned a new way of how to make your home smell amazing. And um, I'll see you in the next video. If you have not checked out my previous video about the other wax cube fragrances that are bakery based, check it out. Uh, go to my YouTube channel and check that video out and get you some nice bakery based fragrances as well as the summery ones um, we also do have more things coming in so please subscribe to my YouTube, ch YouTube channel give this video a like and a thumbs up if you liked it and if you learned something new and share it to your friends and family and uh, make your home smell amazing this festive season and I'll see you guys soon bye There's something in the air that says Christmas is near Maybe it's the peppermint scent From the candle that's sitting in the windowsill Snow is finally falling Children are, are all bundled up Making snowmen and angels